here we are to go from the Phantom Ranch back up to the South Rim. This is the nice Phantom Ranch. It's got some nice water. It's got some nice people over here. And you can see some nice downward trees and things. It is 2 in the morning. And you can see there's the moon. It is about 85 degrees. Let's get started. We've now arrived at Bright Angel Campground. and We're going to take a small public service announcement to go over some key things. Why suffer? Hike smart. Eat a bunch of carbohydrates. Drink plenty of water. Stay wet, which means get your clothes wet and keep your body cool. Go slow and rest often. And hike during the cooler parts of the day, which means finish your hike by 10 a.m. or start after 4 p.m. We spotted some wildlife. Looks like they have striped tails of some sort. Look at this little guy. Just for context, they are, and you can see there's a roaring Colorado River underneath them. Oh. That is a little fun. Here we are as we continue, crossing over the large Colorado River as we head into the Devil's Corkscrew. Kind of hard to see at night, but trust me, there's a lot of water around here. After an hour of hiking, we have arrived at Pipe Creek Beach, that's what it's called. And now we head up Devil's Corkscrew. Let's see if you can see anything. We're saying goodbye to the Colorado River. After three hours, two and a half hours of hiking total, we have arisen at kind of the top, I don't know, section. We're still going. You can see light is starting. We went through a bunch of switchbacks and now we're up on top of the mesa, our first mesa. And next you come across Indian Garden, a nice little campsite. You got some trees, got some water. Okay, we're about half an hour, 45 minutes out of Indian Garden. You can see the sun is up. The trail is pretty easy. It's kind of hanging out. There's still random people on it though, you know. That's Here it. You can see the trail continue down there. Up here, pretty easy, pretty steady. And we have arrived at Three Mile House, three miles from the top of the canyon. And there's some water here, which is great. Thing to note is this fancy sign. Caution, downhill is optional, but uphill, up is mandatory. Basically what that means is if you go down, that's fine, you can do that, but you gotta get your butt back up there. Another thing to note is hiking, to the river and back in a day can be hazardous to your health and is not, repeat, not recommended. You can see here we got a nice view of the valley and also some nice water right up there. We've continued up and now we're at a water house. You look right around this corner where those people are walking where you can get some water. That's one mile from the top. And you can see we're about getting to the level. A nice mule travel. Another way to get down to the canyon. We have continued up the trail. And you can now see the top. We continue up the path. You can start to see it wind around to the summit. And then we are here. Trail ends right over there. Nice bright angel trail. Top of the Grand Canyon. So that is how you hike up. Over now.